differentiate explicitly for y. In order to explicitly do this, we need to first isolate the y. So we can first subtract the square root of x, and then we'll square both sides, leaving us with y equals 4 minus the square root of x squared. From here, we can start to find y prime. First, we'll use the power rule. 2 comes down, copy the inside, subtract 1 on the exponent, and then multiply by the derivative of the inside. The derivative is negative 1 half x to the negative 1 half power. Simplifying this, we will get negative 4 plus the square root of x over the square root of x. If we wanted to, we could rewrite this as y prime equals negative 4 over the square root of x plus 1. Make note of that. The next thing we're going to do is implicitly differentiate the exact same equation and see if we get the same answer. This time we will differentiate implicitly for y. Notice it's the same equation. The first thing we do is take the derivative with respect to x on both sides of the equation. The derivative of the square root of x is 1 half x to the negative 1 half power. The derivative of the square root of y is 1 half y to the negative 1 half power. And we need to multiply by dy dx because it's in terms of y, not x. And the right side, the derivative of 4 is simply 0. Next, I'm just going to rewrite this, removing the negative exponents, and I'll write this using a radical instead of a rational exponent. And now we can start the process of isolating dy dx. So we have 1 over 2 square roots of y dy dx equals to negative 1 over 2 root x. From here we can multiply by the reciprocal in order to isolate dy dx. dy dx is negative square root of y over the square root of x. And so technically we've isolated dy dx, but notice it does not look like the original from earlier. But we can plug in what y is. Earlier we said that y is equal to 4 minus the square root of x squared. So let's replace y with that value. And so now we're left with negative 4 minus the square root of x all over the square root of x, which we can then simplify to negative 4 over the square root of x plus 1. And notice that's exactly what we got in the previous example. 